Good morning, everyone. Happy, happy Thursday. Today is Thursday, December 3rd. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me well. You definitely, <clears throat> excuse me. I definitely have a cold on this morning. My voice is very, very hoarse. Um, on the video from yesterday that I uploaded last night, um, you guys are letting you know that I am doing a blog miss. But the video that I did release on December 1st, um, that was from Saturday. So you could consider that the official, you know, first start of vlogmas. Uh, because I did upload on the first. Um, but I didn't title the video vlogmas until the second video that I uploaded on yesterday. So I am doing a vlogmas, you guys, and this is my very, very first time doing this here. So right now it is 16. Every day I say I have to work already. Um, I've been up a little bit around 5.20. Um, I have this broom right there. <laughs> the reason being is because I was sitting here, um, you know, checking some messages on my on my phone and everything, and I was hearing something crawling around, so I got up to it. I don't like bugs. I am not one that like bugs. I am completely afraid, <laughs> you guys. And my mom has a huge plant over here in the corner, and so I kept hearing something crawling around because it's paper. So I wanted to be prepared in case something would have came out. I can hit it. So I don't know what it is. You know, we don't we don't have roaches. Um, just putting that out there. But um, I don't know if it could be a spider or just maybe like it's a small bug. But there's something crawling around because I kept hearing it crawling around on the paper. So just put that there. But I've tapped it a few times. Nothing has come out. But that's why I have the broom there, just in case. I don't want nothing to surprise me while I'm sitting here because I'm going to freak out. Um, my mom cannot come out and help me. Um, Emma is going to work. My nephew, he's going to get up in a little bit to start class, but I don't want to wake him up before that. But if I have to, then I will. <laughs> um, my dad is home today because my mom has um, a follow-up appointment. Oh, yeah, you guys, my mom is doing great. Um, now, I don't know if I said in the previous video. If not, I will let you guys know now. She was discharged on Sunday, so she got home Sunday afternoon, like around 3 o'clock, because we was looking at the same game, and the same day went, which is awesome. Um, but she did get home around 3, around 3.30, um, you know, on Sunday, so she's been home. She hasn't started back to, you know, physical therapy yet. Her, um, was it, her nurse, her original nurse from the very first um, stroke attack, stroke attack um, came on Monday. So this original the original nurse that she already had. And then I'm gonna be finished with her. Um, the original nurse probably until January. But none of this has happened. I think they'll they keep up with the same nurse unless this nurse is not available. Then they would give her, you know, a fill in for that day or whatever. Um, she hasn't started physical occupational therapy yet. The only thing that's new now would be um, adding speech therapy because her speech is the only thing that's really, really bothersome. Um, so I don't recall, you know, for you guys to hear her because she's very embarrassed of it. And I know for myself, um, you know, I stuttered throughout my life. And when I first became ill, I never forgot to just learn how to do the simplicity, you know, the simplicity of things um, all over again. Even talking was a struggle, not even knowing my name, not even knowing my family. And there's people that understand, there's people that don't understand. So I would never want to expose her in her state of being embarrassed. That's why I, um, you know, if you see glimpses of her, um, you know, I might add a picture, you know, you might see her in the background, but I never ever want to expose her, her voice because I'm understanding of her needs. I was also wanting to be understanding of my so that's just to give you guys a heads up. It's just mainly the speech that is just, um, you know, just a new thing that she needs, you know, more help with now than ever. The young lady, Miss Alexis, that I, you know, was having about home health care nurse. I don't know if I said in the previous videos um, before, now she has a four-month-old baby that is in the hospital that has health complications because he was a preemie. Her baby is due to come home um, before Christmas Eve, but, you know, with his 
improvements and everything. He might be home way before that, which is a blessing, which is awesome. And um, so our schedule can vary a little bit, you know, and mm-hmm. things like that. So um, when she's not available originally, they wouldn't send someone. So that's why a lot of times you might not see anybody else in the video. You might not see any um Sometimes I might not have a picture on Facebook or Instagram because um, there's been times that she's been off. Um, and I'm going to appointments by myself or, you know, I don't like just always just trying to force someone to take a picture. If they're willing, then okay. If they're not, then, you know, I, I just let you guys know. But that's just life. Um, so the lady that I had yesterday, she's a, a new supervisor that's been promoted. And she's the one that came yesterday. I did not take a picture of her. She, said, well, she will be back today. That's really what's going on at this moment in time. Um, she won't be here until after 8 o'clock. Um, my normal hours are from 7 to 12, um, sometimes 11. Um, I get five hours. But if I have someone working on a Saturday, then they'll narrow it down to four hours a day, where that can be stretched until the 6 8. If I'm just going to do Monday to Friday and not need anyone on that Saturday, then it'll just be five hours a day for five days a week. Um, so it depends. So I don't know if um, the original person, um, Miss Alexis, will be back on Friday because I do have an appointment right down the street, and that's a follow-up for the breast exam, um, the mammogram that I took the week before last. And I received an email on um, Thanksgiving Day and um, saying that they saw a mass on the right breast. They didn't say that it was cancer or anything. They just want to just do a follow-up to make sure, like I see if this is just, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the genetic makeup of my breast. They just want to just rule everything out as precaution. I mean, today, the apple will bring me to that one. So the home health care nurse, um, Michelle Treese, will leave before that. Um, because I don't need her to go, you know, once ever gets here, you know, my husband can just, you know, go and take care of that. Um, so she would be here for, you know, those five hours, and then she would go home. And because my appointment is not till 145 later on today, and there was no early appointments available because this appointment has been rescheduled so many times because every time I was supposed to have the appointment, I was in the hospital, things was going on, I was sick. Um, you know, being admitted, they couldn't get the appointments together. And then when I, the last time I was supposed to have this appointment done was that I had to go get my B12 injection when um, Ms. Alexis came along with me, and that was the week before. And then at the hospital, they was taking a long time with the Walgreens inside the hospital to release the, the shot. Um, so many discrepancies was going on, and so that definitely overlapped. Sorry, you guys, look out the window. That definitely overlapped to me going to um, to get my eyes checked. And you have like a 20-minute grease period, and it was not going to work. We're trying to get there, and we did have transportation that was going to bring us, and he was well aware of that. But I just called him to him, like, you know, after they said, just bring us home because um, leaving from that hospital, and then you got a, a 30 minute ride to get to the next place. You're trying to fight traffic, and then trying to get me out of the van, and you're in the elevator, and get upstairs, and you're trying to walk fast, and then I need to put the pressure on my body, just all those things, using common sense, which is equal to. Let's just reschedule and not worry about it. This um, minute, we're all going to finish the Christmas tree. Um, now, the Christmas tree skirt that is down there, that is actually a tablecloth that was going to go on the table. The one that we had for my grandmother, that became either lost or destroyed last year. I don't know how that happened. I think when all the kids were here last year, between my niece and my cousin's children, it became destroyed or either is an attic. I think it's just starts to just get really old. So we was gonna put that the red one that um table called never mind purchase. I think for Walmart or something. We was gonna put that on the table. But um when she came out to me yesterday I was making sure that she was okay and everything like that. You know, she said we put it you know, on the floor, you know, around the tree. So that's what we did. And um so I don't know what we get for this one, you know, I just leave it at that. But we get some more decor to you know, just put some more things on the wall, maybe some more cards, just simple decoration, maybe some window decals for Christmas. Um, but the tree will be decorated. So you guys, the door, you guys saw all the other decorations, but you guys not, did not see the door, so.
Okay, you guys, so right now it is after 3 o'clock. Um, I did not make it to my appointment. I'm about to get to that. So Eva has made it home, and uh, he bought me some food. So this is um, some beans, black beans, and rice that I'm eating there. Um, I also have a bottle of water that I'm drinking. So um, that I was saying earlier that I had an appointment to go and have my eyes dilated just to follow up with the ophthalmologist. I have a just a regular eye doctor that lives right down the street behind my house. This other eye doctor, he specializes in eye diseases, and I was referred to him through my neurologist that manages the multiple sclerosis, the MS. The last time that I seen him was earlier this year, and, you know, had everything just totally messed up. And so I just called because I knew by the time he was leaving from his job, and then he had picked me up, then he tried to get over there to drop me off, get me inside, for him to go park. All those factors working together was going to work against us. And so all of that being said, it's rescheduled until December 21st. So, I mean, it has about 20 days to go, or maybe 18, 20 days to go. Um, at least I don't have to wait till January or any months after that. So, I mean, I will be able to get it done before the end of the year. So I look at it like that, you know, I'm trying to keep it positive and not keep harping and focusing on the negative. Whatever is up to uh oh y'all. I think he has to be here to go to sleep. Take a nap. Well that kind of sets a bummer. But uh you guys will definitely see this video today. So hopefully you guys are, you know, working with me and enjoying Vlogmas. Uh, also remember that you are bold, that you are strong, that you are a winner, that you are a warrior, and that you are a survivor. You better count the stone your first and the storm. Okay. I will, we will talk to you guys again soon in the very next video. Continue enjoying Vlogmas. Keep your head up. Keep the peace. Walk in love with everyone you know. Merry Christmas to you all. Happy holidays. And we'll talk to you guys again very soon in the very next video. Best of much love.